Hey, what's up guys? This is Tim with Studio 4 Media, and today we're going to be taking a look at color correcting explosions inside of After Effects. I've gotten a couple questions from different people about how to make explosions look more realistic, because inside of Maya, even if you're using Fume Effects, if you're using Krakatoa, or just the regular Maya Dynamics Fluid Effects, sometimes you get uh, rendered images that don't look that good. So we're going to take a look real quick inside of Maya. I have another tutorial uh, on YouTube that just is an explosion tutorial. It takes you through the steps of how to make an explosion like this where you have a cylindrical object that it's coming from and then it uh, goes up in the air and you can find that here on our YouTube channel. So that's where that is. Um, and that's where I got the questions about how to make it look more realistic. If we render this out, you can see we have um, really flat colors. The smoke around the edges is gray, not a lot of depth, and definitely in need of some color correction. So this is uh, a lot easier done inside of a program like After Effects or Photoshop. You can do it in either or. But I'm going to do it inside of After Effects because most likely when we are color correcting, we're going to be having not just a static image, but a full-on movie. So uh, if you don't know how to save images, uh, here I'll show you real quick from Maya. Uh, after you render out your image, uh, go to File, Save, and then you can just save it anywhere you want um, as a JPEG or whatever you want different kinds of options so that's how you do that okay so back inside of uh, After Effects here I have this uh, explosion now I've saved mine out as a Targa so that way we can have the um, uh, alpha channel in the background so we can add our own background if you save it as like a JPEG or something like that it will render out flat and you'll just have a black background then you have to go in and mask it so you want to render it out with the alpha channel, some kind of uh, file type that will have that alpha channel. So if I drop this into a new comp like this, you can see what I'm talking about if I turn this on. It's already masked out for me because of how I rendered it out. Now I'm just going to show you how to do this in this tutorial with a image instead of a movie file. So you can get the, the idea. This technique will work uh, with a movie file as well. It's fairly simple. So here we have our explosion and I'll just go through this real quick. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. We'll go to effect and we'll just add a curves adjustment. So color correction curves and we'll give a little bit more contrast by darkening it up and you can see that's going to darken up that smoke there. And then we'll brighten it up on the high range there so we have just a lot more contrast to it. And that right there is going to just make a huge difference. And so now that we've done that, the, the smoke has gotten blacker, and it's kind of hard to see the edges, the outline. So let's go ahead and, before we make any more changes, make a background to it. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do this. Uh, if you don't have any uh, images that you want to use for your background, you can just go to Layer, uh, select New, go to Solid, and you can just make a gray solid, it's fine. And then we'll go to Effect, Generate, uh, Four Color Gradient, and this will put a, a different color on each side of the corners. Drop that below our Explosion Comp here. And what we'll do is we'll just uh, change these colors a bit. I will... You want it to be different shades, varying shades of gray, at least for this for the sake of this tutorial. And yeah, I don't know, maybe you might want to put in a little bit of bluish color, something like that. I don't know. You could make this a darker one. I don't know. Something like that. So you, you get the idea. It gives you a little bit of uh, contrast. You can spread these points out. So it's not just a flat, a single color background, not like a single gray color. It gives you a little bit of uh, variance, fluidity on the background. Uh, you can go that route and fine tune it a little bit more than what I've done. I'll just go ahead and delete this and I'll pull out a image and all this image is is like a brushed metal and uh, you can see here it's just a brushed aluminum look and I will go to effect with it selected 
I'll go to blur and sharpen and I'm just gonna add a flat fast blur to this so that way it gets kind of blurred out do a value of 10 and that way it gets kind of the same effect with the corners there but a little bit more variance to it so there's the background now we can see that our uh, smoke we can see the edges a lot better and we can see um, how how dark it looks in comparison to the original so if we had that selected and we just turn this curves adjustment off you can see the contrast makes that look a lot better next what we can do is we can highlight our explosion go to effect color correction hue and saturation and we can just turn up the saturation a bit so give it a little bit more color to it and also what we can do to compensate for that is turn the lightness down just a little bit so we don't blow it up too much something like that looks pretty good so just give it a little bit more color depth that's what we're after right there and you can do that inside the curves adjustment as well inside the red channel and all that but I just found it's a little bit easier inside the hue and saturation for the sake of this tutorial that's looking pretty good and the last thing we can do uh, is go to effect uh, stylize glow I'll add a glow to it and we'll turn down our glow radius just a little bit maybe turn up our threshold something like this so we have a little bit more of a glow and it makes it look like it's uh, burning really hot maybe turn down our threshold a little bit radius up something like that looks a lot better and you can see now that has changed the way our smoke looks so maybe we want to uh, change our curves adjustment a little bit and t put back some of those not so black something like that and that's looking a lot better so that glow adds that that dark burning look to it and you can go as crazy as you want if you want something like that where it's really really glowing red hot so it looks pretty good and of course you can turn up the threshold to compensate for your radius and it gives you a little bit more definition inside of here as well the plume here so anyway and that's really all it is we just have those three things the glow color correction uh, that's all it is and it makes it look a lot better with all these off you can see it's just flat these turned on looks really nice now some other things you can do just some tips you can pull out um, some background images. I have this one called Specs, and it's just some particles in the air, and we can put that below our explosion. We'll set that to screen. Uh, if you own uh, Video Copilot's uh, Optical Flares, that's where I got this from. So uh, inside the Optical Flares file, there's one called Specs. You can just use that. Um, and we'll just go to effect um, and we will go to color correction hue and saturation and hit colorize and now we'll just adjust this uh, color to match our scene more of a there we go orangey color make it look like there's sparks flying around the air something like that and then we can hit T on our keyboard and bring the opacity down maybe value of 30 so it's not overbearing but you get uh, some of the atmosphere there the feeling of uh, sparks in the air so there's that uh, also we can go ahead and add uh, some flares so go to layer new solid and we'll just go to effect video copilot optical flares and we can just pull up uh, a flare, doesn't matter which one. You want something that kind of probably goes across, actually. Like this beam one here looks pretty good. Um, something that will go across it. And if we put that below our explosion, and then we also set it to, or we can put it above. Set it to screen. I'm sorry, we set our explosion to screen. Set our flare layer to screen 
that's what we want there and uh, we'll adjust the position here again that'll add a little bit more maybe we'll go into I don't know if I like that flare that much presets here let's try that anyway yeah that's a bit better get a line all the way across just where that's at something like this you get the idea That's really all there is to it. I mean, that's all I did for the the image uh, on YouTube um, for the tutorial image. So that's about it. Real simple, uh, simple color correction, and that's all this tutorial is gonna show. So hopefully this helps you guys uh, get more realistic explosions. And the nice thing about this is that you can pull in whatever background lay you have for uh, if you want doing a live action shot for your explosion, and you can color correct the explosion to match what's in your scene as well. So that is uh, going to help make it look more realistic and make it look like it's more part of the scene as well. So just another tip there. All right. Well, thanks a lot, guys, for watching, and I'll have more tutorials shortly.